guys, welcome back to Mac Farms. I want to take a run out here and take a look at this corn today uh, because we got a hurricane coming. Hurricane Teddy, if you can believe that. I guess they ran into all the, uh, the good names and now they're moving on to the like pet names like Teddy and Fluffy and Whiskers and shit like that. So anyway, Hurricane Teddy is coming and I just wanted to take <laughs> one last look at the corn just in case anything were to happen you know last year we had hurricane dorian come through and that hit us pretty hard on the rest of the farm the corn the corn got a lot of uh like the leaves were damaged in that but not a whole lot of it got knocked down so we made out pretty good uh that way i guess but uh yeah i don't know what we're gonna get with this hurricane teddy if it's gonna be something the same or if it's gonna be worse or not as bad or whatever so anyway I just wanted to come out here and take a look at it so I'm gonna fly the drone over this stuff too later on it's a bit windy right now but uh, I'll insert that footage on top of this but anyway this is the first field here that we planted it's uh, it's looking pretty good a lot of damage from the crows on the ends and the sides that are open and exposed you can see that the crows just uh, ravage it pretty hard. But once you get in a little ways, it starts to get not as bad. So, like I said, we'll fly the drone over this. So um, maybe at this point you guys will be seeing a better view of it. But anyway, there is the other field. That's the third and last field that we planted. And the other field is way up on the other side. So the corn looks uh, overall pretty good this year. Um, it's not, uh, I don't know. I see I see a lot of guys posting pictures of corn and stuff and it looks awesome, but uh, we don't get that here. But uh, it all makes feed. So we'll, we'll check an ear out here. I don't think it's starting to dent quite yet. We're probably, <clears throat> well, it's near the end of September, I guess, but it's probably three weeks or more away from chopping it. So I'm gonna grab an ear and I'll meet you back at the uh, rhino there. So I'm only gonna pick an ear off this field. <clears throat> the other two fields were planted. Uh, a while later, a week later maybe. So we're having trouble. <coughs> well, I don't know if you call it trouble or not, because we're not really doing anything about it, but if we have that uh, western bean cutworm in the corn again. Hey, it's starting to dent. So, <coughs> that's our corn, you can see it's starting to dent. And you can see all the, the damage from the worms getting into it and that. So, we have the corn tested of course, and uh, there's the worm right there, look at it. Brick of a thing. And there's the end of her for the people that are amused by that. So yeah, that's uh, <clears throat> that's what the corn looks like. I can't remember if it's uh, uh, the cobs are as big or the ears are as big as uh, 
they were last year or not, but whatever, it doesn't matter, it is what it is. Um, with the worms in it like that, and the mold and whatnot, uh, we have it tested um, after it's chopped, and I think, uh, I think he tests for mycotoxins or something like that it's called, and uh, if there are any present, you have to add something into your feed or whatever, so anyway, we'll look into that just as we did last year. Last year it looked pretty well the same and there was no problems, but anyway, we'll check for that when the time comes, so. Anyway, like I said, just wanted to do a little overview of the corn and the rest of this video will probably be um, uh, the drone footage overhead, so. Anyway, you guys can enjoy that. I may add some more commentary there. I'm not sure, we'll see how that goes anyway. Here we go.